Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that he chose to join me today in our barony. As I open my shirt over here, you might have heard the zipper. Uh, I do apologize if you heard that, because that takes you off the... Well, you just arrived to the video, so there's not a whole lot of immersion to lose. I am sitting in my chair right now, looking at my computer screen, and with my microphone in front of me, and I'm talking to you, so thank you very much for joining me. But let's get into the game. Shinia. Shinia showed up um, last episode, in fact, and um, she's happy to see us. I'm happy to see you, she says. If you forgot who she is, she's the, uh, the, the tell, the tell, tell, tailor, tail teller. Eh, maybe that goes both ways. Uh, and she lies a lot. And she says it's just embellishing. Nah, that she lies a lot. I'm happy to see you, she says. Almost oh, worthy one. A new gift... See, I told you. A new gift and new stories await you. Please accept this fine item. It has been crafted according to the tradition of Udrani craftsmanship. Even in the impossible kingdoms, because they're a lie. Possessing something so precious would inspire awe and envy. A carefree hunter. I got it. It's an item. I thank you, Shania the Tulip. I would gladly, she says, I would gladly relate a story from my homeland that inspired me to create this. But alas, due to another pressing matter, I must take my leave sooner than I would like. She has the runs, you see, so she must dash for the John. Oh, we got somebody else. That's Lindsay. That, is that Lindsay? That's Trishan. Trishan over there. It looks That looks like here. So it's not. Trishan's face glows with happiness. We made it, he says. The second cursed attack was repelled, and the grateful citizens of the barony have a special reward for you. 65,000 coins. Actually, sorry. I'm so sorry. 6,500. It's not how... That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Uh, but that's still very good. That's, that's a lot of money. Trishan looks at you thoughtfully and sighs. Unfortunately, I must bring you bad news again. The bald hilltop lay silent for the moment, but another attack is certain to come soon. I don't have anything useful to add, says Lindsay. The locals are either oblivious to the curse's origins, or they're too scared to talk. I'd be better off reading ancient books and curses. On curses, she says. Uh, why don't you do that? Actually, she can't she can be an advisor to me. You should be a, my economics advisor. I need economics advice. We need to get into chapter two, because that's when we have one. Um, do we still know nothing about this curse, then? Well, nothing that can help us contain it, says Trishan. Once every few months, it drives nearby animals, monsters, and other beasts insane, sending them into a bloodthirsty rampage. I don't know what action we can take on this. The only way I can help is by roughly predicting when the next attack will begin. Forgive me, Giladel. That's, that's still pretty good. Don't be so hard on yourself, Trishan. Even knowing when to get ready is an important thing to know. I don't know how we'd be, uh, handle these attacks if they happened without warning, says Lindsay. Yeah, she's right. You're too hard on yourself, Trishan. Uh, he lowers his head. Thank you. Your support means much to me. Well, yeah, yours as well. I was just saying that he... Well, actually, last episode I was saying that he's my best advisor. Uh, looks like we don't have a choice, then. We'll wait and prepare for the next attack. Trishan just nods, looking down gloomily. Because I assume not because, not because we're gonna fight the attacks, but rather because we don't have any other way of dealing with it. Uh, and I need to get ready for anything. Do I actually need to get ready for anything? Hmm. The visitor has met with the Baroness. And, and I asked if I need to get ready for anything, because if it's like the previous mission where, um, I don't know if it is, but there's a tell. I just don't know the tell. Um, we're gonna need to go and buy some build points. Uh, if it's like in the previous mission, then, um... I have a... I'm just not realizing. I'm thinking a lot of things at the same time. Anyway, let's finish my thoughts. If it's like the previous mission, then we might be able to get ahead of it by just going there instead of waiting until the, the time uh, thing. What I was thinking, however, is that I, uh, I'm gonna buy build points so that I can buy upgrades. And uh, shut up, Harem. And um, and the upgrade, oh, the city upgrades. And I was focusing on money, if I could get money, because I think I'm pretty sure economy gets me more money. So the economy is pretty important. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna do it. D -d -d don't. D -d yeah. That's, there's no. There's no two ways about it. I'm gonna get as much. Well, try to anyway. But I'm. I'm gonna do it anyway. What I mean is, I might not be able to increase my economy level if I don't have an economy advisor. But then, let's see what you have. 
Uh, yeah, I don't have anything to sell, but I do have things to buy. Uh, and then I thought, wait a minute, my economy level is already pretty good. How did I level it up without a, an advisor? Huh? You tell me that, Colonel. You tell me that. And then I couldn't because I was trying to talk about the other thing that I was trying to talk about. <laughs> All at the same time, and I cut me off. Cut myself off, I should say. Uh, a couple of times. Okay, that's good enough. Hopefully I, I'm not missing one build point or just one build point because I could afford selling a couple of scrolls or something. To, or a single scroll, for, for that matter, uh, for another build point or something, because I have, like, 78, 76 gold. But we can't buy discount build points, and that would be something, actually. Being able to just get some discount build points. I suppose that would... Excuse the hiccup. That would be a mission, and be like, um, this person over here is going to get you build points, but you need, to, you need to invest this, and you need to succeed at also a thing. That would be a terrible... Uh, failure if, if it failed. So how are my build points going? Very nicely they are. Going very nicely. So I will try to upgrade you because you are very nicely upgraded. Um, mm, I suppose. So we got a shop for extra economy that adds community if we're next to other things. Um, no, actually that's not what it is. That's the upgrade, but we can't upgrade because we don't have the town. Right. Um, general store plus one economy when adjacent to a tavern. And what do you know? It's adjacent to a tavern. Um, this one adds plus one to relations, plus one to espionage. Uh, over here we have plus one to economy when adjacent to a tavern or a longhouse. And look at that. That is exactly what it is. And a barracks that adds plus one to stability. An economy over here for Dragner's shop. Plus one to economy when adjacent to a tavern or a longhouse. That is... I am very good at this. I know I put all the right things in the right places, and look at that. Lumber yard over here. Plus one to relationships, one located in the same settlement as a pier. The wall I don't think does anything apart from that. Um, that looks like a building, but it's not. Can I not have that selected? Because I would like that not selected. Uh, relations. Nope. So, dance hall. Nope. Dragner's armor, nope. Uh, granary, nope. Herbalist, nah, nah, nah. Longhouse, doesn't add to economy, nope. Lumberyard, we have one already. We could put another one somewhere, I suppose. Um, that wouldn't be necessarily a bad idea. We got a monument, that doesn't add anything. Uh, Shinya, Shinya's shop, we have one already. It's right there. Dragner's and Shinya's, nice. Um, yeah, and then we have a shop. And we have a shrine, plus one to loyalty, plus one to divine. We got a smithy, plus one to economy. What adjacent to a shop? Do we have a shop? Does that count as a shop? I believe it does. Let's... Oh, yeah. Okay. So I got a smithy. Right there. Uh, at least that's the uh, tentative building. The tavern. I already have that. The watchtower adds to the military. The windmill. Yeah, smithy goes in there. Hey. Indeed. And then we have three remaining points that we should be able to build uh, with things. Let's see. Plus one community. Um, if located in a settlement with a granary or brewery. Or, and, or both, actually, because you get the things. So I have none of those. But... Those are... What are the stats here? Yeah, we have one. Look at that. We have one point in economy, which means we can in indeed increase our economy. So that's good. Unfortunately, I can't increase it much more than it is already, so let's try and go for something else. Uh, how about relations? We have stability. Maybe we should go with stability. Let's try that. I mean, but that's not very chaotic. But then again, I don't think, I don't think this game likes my brand of chaos. Let's go with stability. See if we can get anything. We got a dance hall. That's for culture and and uh, loyalty. I got plenty of loyalty, don't I? Yeah, my loyalty is through the roof. It's amazing. Um, so I need stability. Oh, eh. mm -hmm. Should pay attention to uh, look at that. The barracks plus one stability when adjacent to a longhouse, but I can't do that. I can move them though. Building it. Can I press escape? I can't get this. Can't get away from that. Oh, but if I click, no, I don't. Uh, okay. The the thing is, I might be able to move it over there. So let's see, uh, plus one stability when adjacent to a longhouse, but we don't have a longhouse. 
if I make a long house, which is very small as it turns out, I get divine community and culture. It's kind of expensive and it affects a bunch of things. But would I want that for stability? Plus one to espionage, one adjacent to barracks. But it's not adjacent because that doesn't count. You need to be side by side. Let's not let's not mess with the long house then. Let's look down here for other things. Uh, we got some divine over there. We have a. We might just double up. Yeah, let's just go with community over here. Uh, we're gonna make a windmill and then a granary and a brewery if I can make them. We can make a granary, right there, and we can make a brewery. Plus one to loyalty, one located. Plus one to stability, located with the settlement with a tavern, and hopefully I do. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. So we got the windmill over here because of course it's outside, because it looks better basically. Uh, we got a brewery and the granary, and uh, that is. How's my money? That's pretty good. I'm not gonna buy anything else. That sounds like a good deal. Um, I don't have any other quests though, right? We have these two being done. I don't know what Amory is gonna do after that's done. We got this one, and then we have a rim. We're waiting. Yeah, that's good enough. I wonder. I wonder if it's not down. To, like, for example, you saw that uh, that little thing with the rim. I wonder if it's down to the person who's the advisor rather than the the place of the advisor. So that's all air fresh, saddle horses, and all the same thing. I'll I'll check that one day off camera. Make sure I'll I'll just explore the, all the lines because I think there might be a line in there hidden. Um, and we're we're leaving because uh, we have things to explore. To the west. Um, so what I was saying is, I wonder, like for example, it's only a rim there. But if it was instead of Amory, if it was Tristian as an, a military advisor, I wonder if Tristian would have been able to make uh, to change that, or if a rim was the military advisor instead of being whatever the, the divine advisor. Yeah, I wonder if that uh, if that's how it works. I guess I want no. So I want to go over there. That's outside of our jurisdiction so I probably should go through here instead of exploring the inside or instead of going over there and coming back it's not ideal but it's pretty good more than anything I want to make sure there's nothing else. one two three right uh, I want to make sure there's nothing else around here or I mean, I know there's something else around here. What I mean is I want to find the things that are around here. Because we have been here. We got random encounters and stuff over here. Speaking of which... You failed to sneak past the enemies. I shall murder them in their... Well, where where they stand, really. Because I was not in their beds or anything. I don't know why I... Oh, no! Oh, the, oh... I shall be murdered by the enemies. Um, okay, you're gonna attack that, and Valerie, you're gonna fight very defensively. So defensively. Okay. Okay. I think we're gonna die, is what is gonna happen. Harim certainly is gonna die. Hopefully not for real. Oh no. Zero. Where are we? Like, he just died, so I'm, I'm reloading. Um, yeah, where are we? So that's uh, day 0342. That's not my time, so I can't tell how long it's been. I think that says I left. So. Oh no, it's here. Oh, that's. Yeah, we're not doing this because we are dying. Oh, look at that. 0341. What? Did I save just before? No, I saved over here. Let me go into kingdom to make sure I got the things spent. I did indeed. That's good news. Um, so that looks like a terrible place. I think it is high level. But we can we can do it. Oh no. Well, these are these are not high levels. Uh, let's fight. Cause I can evade them for one. 
So those were Elder Fire Elementals. I think now it's... There's bandits. I think now it's working that if we evade them, they actually... Uh, they actually... Um, that was the fastest kill. Oh my god. They actually don't know where we are when you start. So, if I had had the luck of that happening to me, I would have been able to buff for that fight and would have been able to kill the Elder Elementals. Because they, they, they are... They were, I mean, I think they were doable. We're a little bit fatigued and, you know, this and that. But yeah, it's just how the life of an adventurer is. But I, th yeah, I, can, I can see us beating those guys. I de I'll dealt damage. That's half the battle right there is dealing damage at all. That's just, yeah, that's just the nature of D&D. Or Pathfinder, because we've gone over that many times. Why I keep re referencing D&D. Did I actually... I don't... I, I alluded to it, but I don't... Nah, I think I said it. It's just because this system was made to try and preserve the systems and uh, and and uh, so many things. The systems and it's on the other side. Hmm. And spirit of um, of the ND 3.5. I want to say I failed. Okay, so we're gonna have another elder elemental murdering us or two. It sounds that sounds awful. What is that? Bloody Bones Beast. Bloody hell is what I say. Okay, you really need to just be cool here. Oh my god. Right. Um, so. Let's wait a little bit. Or maybe not. My problem is Jay all over here. Tremendous damage is being done. Uh, okay, is that damage over time? Harim is dying. Did he not do damage? Octavia deal, dealt reduced damage. But definitely hit Valerie for reasons that will be soon made irrelevant. Because they're all dying now. Well, not immediately dying. No, I think... Is this really high level? Obviously, we can't win. But the thing is, if the random encounters are this high level, then what... What are we going to get with the... With the places? Come on. Give me something here. Oh, interesting. Okay. I should have looked at the time. Or the date, basically. Okay, just to tie that in. Things are going relatively well. In Insofar as not getting killed too much. Let's go to the bra brown bald head. There's a lot of bald things in this game, isn't there? Ah, well. One of them's a rim. Did you hear that, a rim? Is it a rim? Is he bald? He is bald. And there are dire wolves. Dire wolves sound like a lovely time. Yeah, we can deal with dire wolves. We're a little bit tired, but you know that's fine. We can also save, which is half the work there, as we well know. So Valerie goes over there. Harim goes over here. Um, yeah, that, there's there's some nasty things coming up, isn't there? Aren't there? Uh, let's do a an actual fireball over here. No, no, that's not how. That's not another fireball. Uh, do this one. Tavia, you're gonna take forever to cast, so it doesn't really matter what I do right now. That's a nice kill. Okay, that's good. Okay, this is going relatively well. Valerie has, uh. He's taking some hits, but, you know. And now Amory is taking hits. And Octavia is just missing, generally. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, I was a little bit scared. Because, the, oh, there was an alpha wolf in there. Or two. And we got all their stuff. I was a little bit scared um, of, of just being killed just then. But maybe it's just the random encounters that are absolutely ludicrous. This poor lad was smashed against a stone with trem tremendous force. Whatever killed him, it was much larger and stronger than a wolf. 
In Pills of Eternity, if you pause the game, the pop-ups don't go away. And it is awesome. I just got gold powder. Shit, is it money? Uh, I like money. Gold bow, a long bow, not gold bow. Some coins. There's not a whole lot here. Wait a minute. Who's making that noise? This lad, that's the second lad that we find, couldn't have been much past 16. His bloodstained face is a mask of horror, through which his youth shines through. For me to tell that he couldn't couldn't possibly have been more, much more than 16. 17. 18 at the latest. Fine hide in that. It's the stubble on his cheek that gives it away. Also, are we tired? Why are we slow? What's going on? They don't they don't want to walk. Are we tired? Are we really exhausted? We're exhausted. Okay, that's that's the problem. We still managed to kill the wolves, we did. And there's more lads over here, I'm sure. Or lasses. I don't know, apparently it's all lads. Tianchia Inc. Use oh yeah, we've seen one of those. And uh, composite longbow is very much appreciated. Thank you very much. I, uh, your service is welcome. Well, your death, rather, because I took your thing. A wooden spoon. A useful household item. A merchant would pay well for it. And also, I have a bloodstained ladder. Rubble. You made it through selection. By this ladder, I appoint you headman of the... Lazar Wolves. We have read about these guys before. Congratulations. We've just received new orders. Herdsmen from local villages held a whip round for money and hired us to kill the Cyclops that, that have been ravaging their... No, actually, Cyclops is, is singular here in this case. Uh, so that's good news because I it's going to be tricky enough as it is. A Cyclops that's been ravaging their herds for the, the last several years. It's not much money, but this is a good and proper deed. Our key advantage lies in our numbers, so we should engage the Cyclops on open ground. We can't let him all up on in his lair. Let me guess. He's all up in his lair. Uh, your objective is simple. Gather the... That shouldn't be a dash. Gather the rest of the recruits near the cave in the Gnarled Marchers. Draw out the Cyclops and lead him to the meadow where our main forces will surround and neutralize him. I'll brief you on the details when we meet. I'm counting on you, Captain Alazar. What a pompous fool. The wo Alazar wolves. He's Alazar. And he calls them the Alazar wolves. He is a pompous fool. Although he might... He may be a good guy. I don't know. At least he's trying to do good things, I suppose. He didn't really contact me, because he could work as a mercenary. I mean, I don't have much money to pay him, but... If it's a thing, a thing of killing some Cyclops is, is, is... What's the plural of Cyclops? Oh, interesting, actually. We didn't... I wonder if this is a quest later on. Those are just area exits. Also, what is the name of this place? The Brown Bald Head. Right. Right. It's the Brown Bull. It's fine. Oh, we're getting the thing. Okay, I don't want that thing. I want to save before we leave because you guys need to rest. And we will rest, but outside because resting in here is... Well, it's nice. It's nicer to rest in here because we get to place our camp. Um, it's a little bit more dangerous for sure. Um, and also we can you get to hear her him talk about how everything is pointless and uh, we're all going to die anyway. Which... It sounds like a non sequitur, I know, but, you know, tell that to him. He doesn't know what a non sequitur is. He barely knows words. I bet he uses dashes in the wrong place. <laughs> the In that last case, it should be a, a column. A colon. Colon. Okay, are we going to be all right? Are we going to be all right? Because it's going to tell us if there's... We are going to be all right. It would tell us if there's um, if there were any um, enemies nearby. So, the last time we were here, I had... Valerie, what can you do? You can't do much. Valerie maintains armor, but I prefer sharpened weapons. So you're going to get a minus 10 on our stealth. She just shouts all night, basically. That's, that's what she does. Normally, it's a plus zero. But with her, it's a minus 10. 
It makes sense. It makes sense. She's really bad at that. It's a skill. I don't actually know what skill it is. Camouflage. Maybe? Camouflage aid? It says over there. I, I, it's fine. Um, so she's going to sharpen weapons. She can do good things, actually. That plus six is pretty decent. What is your... Oh, now it shows plus two. I wonder why it wasn't showing plus two before. Uh, anyway, make the f food. Because we need to... Uh, we need to eat. Harim? Oh. Forgot about that detail. If we may, I would like to return once more to that forsaken fortress. To walk below its arches. To feel the tranquility of its halls and arcades. To listen to the silence. Do as you wish, but you can do it without me. Dirt. Ruins. Ugh. Well, there you go. And nobody assaulted us in the night. Ambushed us. I mixed the words up because I'm not a native speaker. And the word in Portuguese for assault is the... Well, I mean, the, it sounds, the word for ambush sounds very much like assault. So, yeah. Or actually, it's a word for many things. And we found a cache of nothing. Of, of goods, it says. But they're not very good. So, are they really goods? They're sort of... Mess. They're meh. They're mess. Make, does it make sense? Aha. We found something else, though. Death all did. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Scrolls. I bet those will fetch a pretty price. It, it also looks like... Oh, that fish was doing things. Did you see it? It was, like, going up and down. It's also nighttime. Um, it also looks like that um, these areas are pretty small. Hmm. We've fought some of these before. But uh, we are about to fight a, a, a slug. And we're going to lose stats. An, an acid-imbued giant slug. As you do. Uh, and uh, as one does, I should say. And Valerie steps over here. No! Don't attack Amory, you idiot. Oh, this uh, acid slug is gonna be a bad thing. Gonna murder everybody in here. Let's see if we get a, get a kill at least. I don't think we're gonna get a kill. That's one dead. Immune. What do you mean immune? Immune to stats? Okay, that's a reload. I think we can handle this. Um, we're going to need to buff, obviously, but I think we can handle this. We do need to send... We do need to send Valerie first by herself, standing to the side, and uh, just being very, very good. So let's see. We have Crusader's Edge. Uh, one friendly creature gains... Uh, that's not really what I want. Restoration. Nope. Uh, communal... Oh, wait a minute. Can we get... Acid protection? Yes, we can. That is pretty awesome. And that lasts for a bunch of times, so... That's also very, very awesome. Um, okay, then we have... Archon's Aura. That's for you. I have Rage. That's not necessary. We have Freyr, which is not necessary for right now. Full strength, not necessary for right now. I mean, it is, but let's first worry about defensive buffs. It's morale on attack rolls. Let's get that. Oh, that's for himself. No, that's for everybody. That's pretty good. Yeah, keep at it. And then we have stunning barrier, which might be good. Okay, well, there's not a whole lot more buffs over there. Uh, as for you... You have haste, which is going to be a good thing. Let's do that. Needs to center on a character. Uh, let's do these. Giladel is pretty fast on her buffs. She tends to be anyway. That's one round. Let's do that one. Oh, right. This one as well. And there's a reduced person. Yeah, I want to hurt. Okay, bark skin has been cast. And then we do that one. This person has been cast, and I think we're good. Thundershot is also done. Done. Okay. 
Let's see how this works. Wee! Okay, so you go over there, and then... Oh, no. What are you doing? Yeah, you're attacking there, but... You're going over here or something. Now nah, you can attack it. Either uh, any direction. Just need to be... Oh, come on. Who are you attacking? Harim. Son of a... It's incredible. Octavio? Octavio, run for your life. That looks like a terrible thing coming up. Coming for you. We are resisting all the acid, though. Come on, get the job done. Okay, 77 damage critical done. I'm fine with that. Cannot save during combat. I will bring your attention to the fact that the slug is now dead. I know, I know. Combat states are weird and always are going to be forever and ever. In every game. Okay, I think we're out of combat now. How do I know? Because I can loot. What do we have over here? Rune-covered ancient leather scrap. This item bears a trace of lost power. And this is a, cha a chain shirt. Chain shirt. I can pronounce that, maybe. Um, and it is a light armor with a plus four enchantment. So maybe I want that. Nobody else uses light stuff. She doesn't even use anything. So yeah, I want that. I think it's amazing. Demontide as well. Plus four, a Demontide chain shirt grants its uh, wearer plus four bonus on critical confirmation rolls, which is all fine with me. And Woodland Ages. Did that add anything? A uh, bark skin spell. Mm, that's actually pretty good. But I guess we're going to have to have it uh, here because I think we have it. Oh, it's a druid. Wait, how does that work? Third level druid. That's not, he's a cleric, so that doesn't, he doesn't have bark skin. Aw. So we are, not, none of us has bark skin. I wonder if I can learn it. I can also equip it and, and equip it, but that does impl imply that I'm not going to sell that at the earliest possibility, which I do want to do. Okay, so I can save now, which is good, because there might be more slugs. And uh, we're also very fast. The s effects are going down. Or disappearing, I should say. And that's why it's auto-pausing. At least the resistance is going to stay there for a little while. I don't know what attack it was. It, was, it must have been physical to Valerie. Oh, okay. So that was the only enemy in here. Yeah, that makes me... Well... It calms my fears, at least, but um, I wouldn't mind fighting another one. Yeah, it was all down to the communal energy protection. As it has been for a couple of occasions. Not a big fan of that, honestly. Okay, let's get... Uh, yeah, let's just get... Lo uh, personal heals. Do you have anything else that I can throw away? Not really. Let's just go with that for right now. Use them all up. She also has the Shield of Faith, which is a very nice skill to have. Really nice. Plus two bonus deflection. Up to plus five. It's just amazing. That's a, that's a fantastic skill. Just applies to anything as well. I think it does. Maybe it doesn't scale. Maybe I need to look at that, because maybe it's like if you have a plus two shield of or something, it doesn't work. Uh, so we could go over there, but I also I don't like it because there were many bad things over there. I also want to go over here, so let's go this way. I really should keep an eye. Let's keep an eye. So we're very close to our place, I think. Travel there. So on the fifth. I am waiting for the kingdom to show up. This is when we left, the 5th. On the 6th... Let's see how, how long it is until Lindsay... Or actually not Lindsay. Amiri is done. One day. Okay, so we don't have too long until... And I'm, of course I'm reloading because... You know, I didn't really mean to go back there. Uh, so we don't have very long until we have to be back. We have Pine Stretch. A wide, slow stretch of the Selen River. 
Well, it's probably gonna be an advisor in there that, I can, that I'm gonna kill. Flowing lazily between reeds and weeping willows. The murky water, uh, the murky waters are a great place to fish for perch, beam, and long fat pike. Bream, actually, not beam. Oh no. Oh, this is the special encounter. We stopped on the banks of the Selen River. It was quiet, too quiet. It was no secret that a whole flotilla of pirates called the Selen their home, and King Irovetti hadn't lifted a finger against them. The oppressive silence and sense of a looming threat were like a weight upon our backs. I began to count how many unfinished tasks we had on this side of the Selen. Why must we go west at all? No one was waiting to greet us on that foreign land. Yeah, but I have a perception thing. The Baroness gave us a sign, and the whole party froze, listening for any sound. The oppressive silence and the sense of a looming threat were like... A okay, I read that already. What? Oh, right, this showed up. Above the splashing waves, we could barely make out the creak of a bow bowstring, and... The which is also... It's very quiet. It's not like in the movies. And the sound of a paddle slapping the water. Pirate boats were most definitely waiting for us, hidden among the opposite bank. Uh, I will try to parlay with them. So let's see. We discussed the situation, evaluated the threat of an ambush, and decided there were more pressing matters at hand. Um, so let's see. The Baroness shouted out, asking if there was anybody on the opposite bank, and if there was a chance we might part ways peacefully. Or she stepped into the water and we followed, hoping we would all make it safely to the other side. Let's shout. Silence reigned for a time, and then an answer came from the opposite side. A harsh and rather rude voice informed us that... What is a rude voice? It's a voice that just evokes sex, for, for example. And it's rude, because you're talking about sex. We're in the middle of a forest, so that's rude. Is that what it is? It's not the words that are rude, it's the voice. Anyway, informed us that if we wanted to cross the river, we'd have to pay. Alas, the price, everything that we had, seemed rather high. Well, it's the Baroness stepped boldly into the water. The moment we left the shore behind, arrows started to peck the water around us. Black pirate boats emerged from the overgrowth along the opposite shore. Fortunately, they'd made their move too early, and we had enough time to turn back and reach the shore. If we'd swum, swum oh, we were swimming. I, nobody informed me of this. If, we, if we'd swum a, little, swum a little further, the pirates would have caught us, and we'd all have met an inglorious death from a paddle blow to the head. The crossing was impossible, and we had no idea how to deal with the bandits. Shortly there, they had prepared ambushes all along the opposite bank, but we were resolved that someday we would bring order. No, we wouldn't. We would bring chaos to the Selen. That's what I want to bring. Mm, ramble, ramble, ramble. So I can't do that, because that's not in my place, so I'm not even gonna bother. Oh, also we know the path, so it's not too bad. Um, and going over there doesn't matter either, because that's the Selen, and we can't cross. So it's on the 5th, so we have... we can go down. How come that it's faster that way? Well, four hours. So we have two days still, because it's on the 7th and Amiri is done, but we can wait until night time uh, for her to be done. Let's see where this goes. Okay, that goes back over there. I don't want to go back over there. Let's go back through here. And if we can go to the St. Galvan's Gullet. Whether, weren't we there before? I thought we were there before. We got another thing over here, Mage Tower. Isn't that the thing that we're trying to build and teleports and stuff? Of course, we can't claim it, but, you know, still be, be pretty cool. Was there a passage there? Let's go there, four hours. So, the day is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. Prepare to sneak past the enemies, it said, even though I failed the thing. I didn't sneak. I'm not gonna sneak. They're gonna be here. What are they? My death? They sound very surprised. They're like, oh, ah, how dare you? They're bandits. And there's a bard over there. And now I'm attacking from the north. Which makes sense, because that's where I came from. Um, that bard is gonna get an arrow to the face. That's what happened. Uh, also, we're very slow, but that's fine. We could cast haste, I think, maybe. Okay, let's uh, get this. Fast, please. That's a kill. Giladel, good job. What do we have? Bandit, bandit, bandit. What is that? That's another bard. Murder. Uh, Ray of Frost has been cast. 
Speaking of which, I have another thing that can be cast. Control Fireball. Murder them all. Okay, so she got healed just now. But this is bad. Um, I have some nicer skills, but that this is just generally bad. She's not gonna die. She's just gonna get mostly killed. You know. Okay. Did you get hit? That looked better than it actually was. Hmm. Send another fireball in there. This time around, try to hit only our enemies, maybe. It's not like it's gonna help. Uh, send a ray of frost. Especially at this guy over here, because he smells. Not a ray of frost at all. That's not what I'm sending. Rim is about to die. We got an arrow over there. Nice. That's two misses. Of course it is two misses, because it's what it's all you do, really. She misses so much, I need to figure that out. Oh, that's a nice hit. That's another one. Okay. Come on, Gilladel, we got this. And that's a kill. And those she doesn't miss. So I'm not sure. I don't know. And there we go. You can come back, Amiri. And both of you, actually. Whew. Okay, so these were higher. I think they were higher. They, there were two clerics in the, with them. So I imagine they were higher level bandits. But, um. But they weren't anything tremendously scary like Elder Elementals or anything. And the slow spell is tremendously bad. Especially if you're fighting against a team without um, ranged uh, characters. We got a couple. Some really good stuff, though. Some really good stuff. All of this is master work, which is just good in general. And daggers for for to boot, because those are two at a time. Uh, we got chain shirts over here, which is also nice. Plus one, I should say. Um, and we have oldest to newest, newest to oldest, yeah. And we also got, I thought, oh no, we got the rings, that's right. We got these ones, which is a plus one ring. Just a little bit expensive. Yeah, that's that was pretty good. It's a pretty good haul, and uh, I'm pretty good episode. I if I do say so myself, and I do, but that's gonna be the end of it. So for right now, I'm Curl RPG, and this has been Pathfinder Kingmaker. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.